Data from recent clinical trials suggest that the younger the patient and the earlier their disease stage, the greater the potential to better manage and treat Alzheimer's disease and engage the patient's loved ones. That in the past, biomarker testing was not completed routinely because a provider did not have treatment options that required confirmation of Alzheimer's disease neuropathology. We have a few prescription drugs that give a modest symptomatic benefit to many individuals and precision in terms of pathology was not necessary. However, now that we have treatments, monoclonal antibodies against amyloid beta that impact the actual hallmark and pathology of Alzheimer's disease, we need confirmation that that disease pathology exists in a patient so we can provide the treatment. Amyloid PET scans have been used as the gold standard in detecting a hallmark pathology of Alzheimer's disease. Although false positives and false negatives are possible, generally in a person with cognitive decline in whom we suspect Alzheimer's disease as the cause based on medical history and cognitive evaluation, a positive amyloid PET scan confirms the presence of Alzheimer's pathology and is consistent with a neuropathologic diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease, increasing the likelihood that the cognitive impairment is due to Alzheimer's disease. Given the high sensitivity of these tests, a negative scan typically suggests an alternate cause for the cognitive decline. In my practice, I give patients a menu of options to choose from, as some are needle phobic or have had issues with lumbar punctures in the past. Additionally, some tests are very driven by cost, while some may require a patient to drive a long distance, adding to their burden. Keeping all of these factors in mind, we make an informed joint decision on how best to obtain evidence of disease. Blood tests have been commercially available for a few years. However, advancements in the latest blood tests have shown to be equivalent to spinal fluid testing and amyloid PET scans in populations similar to those in clinical trials. I believe in the near future, as these blood tests become available, that they will help confirm biomarkers to better identify potential candidates for disease-modifying treatment.